Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that, coincide. So right here, I've taken or uh, five integer variable. First is n, or uh, second d1. And on next d2. So enter your d1 and d2 in its last to zero. Next variable n1 and n2. So both are also in its last to zero. Here after console class or write time method. So what do I interval code that display into the art prescript? So I have to enter number to print find nearest prime number. So what do I am going to enter? So that is saved by n. So I am going to enter n value 8. So here after control comes to follow. So I have to int i. So n value go to i 8. Here that check the condition. So no no condition is there. So that coincides. So enter if n prime. So i value is now 8. So n prime method receive 8. Now hereafter control go back and comes to this point. So enter s receive 8. So one more variable as the value 8. Here after k variable initialized to 0. So here after control comes to follow here for j int j equal to 1. So one more variable or j. So initialized to 1. Here after check the condition 1 less than equal to s. So s value is now I enter at. So the condition is true. So that coincides. So I tell s if s mod j. So s value is now 8 and j value is now 1. So 8 mod 1. So I tell remainder comes 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. Hereafter that increase the value of k. So k is now 1. Hereafter that go up and check the uh, increase the value of j. So j is now 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I tell 8 mod 2 double equal to 0. So 8 mod 2 remainder comes 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincide and increase the value of k. So k is now 2. Here after j increase. So j is now 3. Uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I tell 8 mod 3. So remainder comes. It divide by 2 times, remainder come 2. So 2 double equal to 0, condition is not 2, not coincide, j increase. So j is now 4. Here after check the condition, 4 less than equal to 8, condition is 2, so that coincide, so enter 8 mod 4. So remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, so that coincide, increase the value of k, so k is now 3. Here after j increase, so j is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 8, condition is true, so that coincides. So enter 8 mod 5. So you divide by 1 times, remainder come 3, 3 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So j is now oh, 6. Here after check the condition 6 less than equal to 8, condition is true, so that coincides. So enter 8 mod 6. So you divide by 1 times, remainder come 2, 2 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, here after j increase. So j is now 7. Uh, check the condition 7 less than equal to 8, condition is true, so that coincides. So, I tell 8 mod 7. So, you divide by 1 times, remainder come 1. So, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide. Hereafter, j increase. So, j is now 8. Hereafter, check the condition 8 equal to 8, condition is true, so that coincides. So, I tell s value 8 or j value 8. So, 8 mod 8, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is true, so that coincides k increase. So k is now 4. Here after j go 9 increase by 1, so j is 9 now. Check the condition 9 less than equal to 8. Condition is not true, not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So if k double equal to 2, so k value is now 4. 4 double equal to 2, 
condition is not true. So then go to else part, so I this return false. So a prime value, you know, this term it returns false. So hereafter control comes to this point. So I tell if n prime, so I tell this value is now false. So that not go inside. So hereafter that go up and increase the value of i. So i value is now 8 to 9. Check the conditions. So there is no any condition. So that go inside. So I tell if n prime, so i value received this time 9. Uh, so hereafter n prime method is there so that called to n prime so this time n or uh, s receive 8 or uh, sorry 8 re s receive 9 so s value is now 9 and hereafter that coincide k start from 0 again and j value start from 1 or uh, check the condition 1 less than equal to 9 condition is true so that coincide so I tell 9 mod 1 so I enter remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that coincide k increase. So k is now 1. Here after j go to increase, so j is now 2. So add here, 2 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so that coincide, so I enter 9 more 2, double equal to 0. So 9 more 2, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So j is 3 now. Check the condition, 3 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so that coincide, so I enter 9 mod 3, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so k in case. So k is now 2, hereafter uh, j value is 4, check the condition 4 less than equal to s value 9. So 4 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so that coincides, so at a 9 mod 4, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j in case. So j is now 5. So at a 5 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so that coincide 9 mod 5. So, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So, j is now 6. So, at here, 6 less than equal to 9, condition is true. So, that coincides, so at here, or 9 mod 6, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So, j is now 7. Here, of, here after 7 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so at here, or s mod j. So, s value is now 9, 9 mod 7, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, here after j increase. So j is now 8, check the condition 8 less than equal to 9, condition is true, so that coincides, so 9 mod 8 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j in case, so j is now 9, check the condition 9 less than equal to, or 9 less than equal to s value also 9, so 9 equal to 9, condition is true, so at s mod j, or so 9 mod 9, the remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that coincide, hereafter k increase, so k is now 3. Here after j increase, so j is now 9 to 10. Or check the condition 10 less than equal to s value 9. Condition is not true, not coincide. Here if k double equal to 2, so k value is now uh, 3. So 3 equal to 2, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after that comes to s part. So I tell this return false. So this value is now return false. So that not coincide. Here after that increase the value of i. So i is now 9 to 10. Check the condition, there is no any condition. So again that coincides at here. If n prime, so this time uh, i receive at here a, uh, 10. So here after that call n prime method. So now uh, int s, so s this time is a 10. So here after k value start from 0 again, here j equal to 1, start from 1 and uh, check the condition 1 less than equal to s value or 10. So 1 less than equal to 10 condition is true, so that concern 10 mod 1. So it divide by 10 times. Remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so k increase, so k is now 0. Here after j increase, so j is now 2. Or check the condition 2 less than equal to or 10, condition is true, so at here 10 mod 2, double equal to 0, condition is true, so k increase, k is now 1. Here after j is also increase, so j is 3. Or check the condition 3 less than equal to 
or 10 condition is true so that coincides so that you or 10 mod 3 so you divide by 3 times remainder to 1.2 equal to 0 condition is not true not coincide j in case so j is for now j the condition for less than equal to s value 10 so condition is true so that coincides so that you 10 mod 4 so you divide by 2 times remainder to 2 2 double equal to 0 condition is not true not coincide here after j increase so here after j is for now or check the condition or oh sorry j is 5 check the condition 5 less than 10 condition is true that coincides so as at 10 mod 5 it divide by 2 times remainder from 0 0 equal to 0 condition is true so the k increase so k is now 2 so k is now 0 0 to 1 i think k is 3 here after uh, j is now 6, j the condition is 6 less than 10, condition is true, so that coincides right here, uh, s value is now 10, 10 mod 6, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase, so j is now 7, again the same process continue on, so when the value of uh, j is 10, so 10 equal to 10, condition is true, so right here, 10 mod 10, the value comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so k increase, so k is now 4. So k is increase, so here after k j is now 11. Or check the condition 11 less than equal to 10, condition is not true, so that not coincides, so if k double equal to 2, so k value is now 4, 4 double equal to 2, condition is not true, so that go to as far as have that return false. So again that comes to this method, if n prime, so this value is return false. So that not coincides here after. Uh, I gonna increase so I is now uh, 10 to 11. Here after the same process continue on. Check the condition. There is no any condition. So n prime. So this time uh, I receive 11. So again that call n prime method. So this time here yeah, control comes to this point. Or uh, S receive 11. K value start from 0 again. Add here. J is now start from 1. So add here. J condition 1 less than 11. Condition is true. So that coincides. So add here. 11 mod 1. So remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. K increase. So K is now 1. Here after J also increase. So J is now 2. Or check the condition 2 less than equal to s value 11. Condition is 2. So that here 11 mod 2 remainder come 1. So 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not 2. Again the value of j. So j is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than equal to 11. Condition is 2. So that here that coincides. So that here 11 mod 3. So double equal to 0. Condition is not 2. Not coincide j increase. So j is 4 now. Or check the condition 4 less than equal to 11, condition is true. So 11 mod 4 double equal to 0, condition is not true, k increase. So j is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than equal to 11, condition is true. So 11 mod 5, so double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide here, j increase. So j is now 6. Here after 6 less than 11, condition is true. So 11 mod 6 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide here after j increase. j is 7. Or uh, 7 less than 11, condition is true, so that coincide 11 mod 7, not equal to 0, double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So j is now 8. So when the value of j rest to 11, so that here, check the condition 11 equal to 11, condition is true, so that coincides, so that here, 11 mod 11. So remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so k is now 2. So that here, here after j is now 12. Or check the condition 12 less than equal to 11. Condition is not true. So that not coincides. So that if k double equal to 2. So k value is not 2 this time. So that return true. So here after control comes to this point. So this value is not true. So if condition is true. So that coincides. So that Or d1 i minus n. So i value is now. 11 and n value is now 
n value i into 8. So i value 11, n value 8, 11 minus 8, d n become 3. Here after i value go to n1, so i value 11, so that go to n1, so n1 become 11. Here after break a statement comes, so that terminate the for loop. Now control comes to this point. So n value go to i, so n value 8, so 8 go to i. So i is now 8. Here check the condition, so there is no any condition, so control comes to this point. If n prime, so this time i is now 8. So here that receive 8. So here after that call n prime method. So now s receive 8 here. So k value start from 0 again. So k is 0. Or j value start from 1. So j value is now 1. Or check the condition 1 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. So right here. 8 mod 1 double equal to 0. Condition is true. So 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So k increase. So k is now 1. Here after that call j increase. So j is now 2. So check the condition 2 less than equal to s value. 8. So s value is 8 here. Or uh, 2 less than 8. Condition is true. So 8 mod 2 double equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincide k increase. So k is now 2. Here after j increase. So j is now 3. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to s value. 8. 3 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. True. So that coincides. So at 8 mod 3 double equal to 2. Condition is not true. Not coincide. Here after chain case. So j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. So 8 mod 4 double equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. K increase. So k is now 3. Here after j increase. So j is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than equal to 8. Condition is true. So that coincides. 8 mod 5. So w equal to 0, condition is not to not coincide here after j increase. So j is now 6. Or check the condition 6 less than equal to 8, condition is true. So at mod 6, w equal to 0, condition is not to not coincide here after j increase. So j is now 7, condition is true. So 7 less than equal to 8, condition is true. So 8 mod 7, w equal to 0, condition is not to. So not coincide here after j increase. So j is now 8. Or check the condition 8 equal to 8, condition is true. So that coincide 8 mod 8 w equal to 0 condition is true so that coincide k increase so k is now 4 here after or j is now 9 check the condition 9 less than equal to 8 condition is not true so that not coincide here after if k w equal to 2 so k value is now 4 or uh, so condition is not true so right here that go to as for return false so that go back to this point here or uh, go back to this point here if n prime, so this value is now false, so that not coincide here after i value decrease by 1. So i value is now 7. So here after again that comes to this point, so enter s value this time receive 7. So s value is now 7. Or uh, s value 7, k value start from 0 again. So k is now 0. Or uh, check the condition here. Control comes to follow up j start from 1. So k value start from 0 and uh, j start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to s value is 7. Condition is true. So that coincides 7 mod 1. Reminder comes 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So k increase. So k is now 1. Here after uh, j also increase. So j is 2 now. Or uh, check the condition 2 less than equal to 7, condition is true, so that coincides right here, same mod 2 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide here after j increase. So j is 3 now. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to 7, condition is true, so that, that coincides, same mod 3 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 7, condition is true, so that coincides, same mod 4 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so that not can j increase. So j is now 5. So I tell 5 less than equal to 7, condition is true, so that coincides, 7 mod 5 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So j is now 6. So I tell 6 less than equal to 7, condition is true, so that coincides, so I tell 7 mod 6 double equal to 0, condition is not true, j increase. 
So J is now 7. So add here, 7 equal to 7, condition is 2, so that coincides, 7 more 7, divided equal to 0, condition is 2, so K increase, so K is now 2. Here after J increase, so J is 8 now. Now check the condition, 8 less than equal to, or 7 condition is not true, control comes to this value. If K double equal to 2, so K value is now, or 2, condition is true, so that return true value. So add here, control comes to this point, if n prime, so this value return true. So that coincides, so add here, or n, n minus i. So n value is now 8, i value is now 7. So 8 minus 7, the value become 1. So d n become 1. And i value equal to n2. So i value is now, or 7, that go to n2. So here after break a statement comes, so that I made the for loop, now control comes to this point. If d1 less than equal to d2, so dn value is now or 1 less than equal to d2 value or 0. So this condition is not to, so that go to L set point. So at here, d2 less than equal to d1. So d2 value is now or 0 and d1 value 1. So this condition is true. So that coincide here. Console class dot item method. So whatever in double code that display into the output screen nearest prime number. N value is now at here. N value i into 8. Equal to n2 value. So n2 value is now 7. And n1 value 11. So the output come nearest prime number 8 equal to 7 and 11. And hereafter that out from main method. So if you enter n value 8, then output come nearest prime number 7 and 11. So you should try with any other number so like enter or 12 or enter 11 and the same process continue. So if you enter 12 then the output come 11 and 13. If you enter 11 then output come 11. So this is the detail and uh, trial method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.